Hello everyone and welcome to this TypeScript tutorial where we will be discussing about variables and their types in TypeScript. We will be using practical examples to help you understand how to work with variables in TypeScript and we will be breaking down each step so that you can follow along easily. So the first thing first, what is a variable? A variable is a container for storing data that can be changed throughout the execution of a program. A variable is created by declaring a name and optionally specifying a type and an initial value. When browsing through the internet or different programs, you might find different values or words. Let's say you have 21, which is a number, and it can represent anything like age of a person or per hour salary of an employee. 3.141 is also a number, a very well known mathematical value for pi. You might see words like John, which is a name and is a string data type. When dealing with different statements or arguments, you may say is it true or false, which is a boolean data type. And you may also see some sentences, just as you see here, welcome to code in peace. All of these are different data types. Let's explore in a bit more detail on its theory. TypeScript have different variable types. These can be number, string, boolean, void, null, object, array, tuple, enum and interface. For this tutorial, we will stick with number, string and boolean data types. For the remaining data types, we will cover each one of them in a separate video. So let's get started practically on number, string and boolean data types. Alright, so here we are onto our Visual Studio code and over here we will be starting with the variables and how you can start declaring your variables for your TypeScript codes. So the first thing first, there are two basic keywords with the help of which you can declare your variables. So it can be either let or you can use constant, which is C-O-N-S-T. Now, whenever you want to declare a random variable, you can use the keyword let. And if you want to declare a variable that has a constant value, and you know that it's not going to be changed. So in that case, you use constant keyword. I will be starting with let and then I will explain you how you can use different keywords as well. So let's say you want to declare a variable and you want to store a value of number data type into it. So I have declared a variable with the name as a and I will be storing a value in it, which is let's say 10. So now what it means is that this value 10 is stored inside a variable which is known as a. Wherever I want to use this value 10, I won't be using it directly but instead I will use this variable wherever I want to access it. So let's say you want to print whatever the value there is inside this variable. So we know that we can display it with the help of console.log. So we have console.log and then a. Save it, transpile it and then run the JS file. And then you can see it prints whatever is stored inside the variable a because we have asked it to print a and the a variable actually contains number which is 10. Now one good thing about this type of script is that it automatically detects what the variable data type is. Now let's say we now know that this is a number data type which means that the variable a can only store numbers into it. Now if you just try to save something which is a string, let's say you want to store John into it. Now you can see that it gives you an error over here. And this code won't run because there is an error inside this code. Now this error is actually indicated with the help of an underline, which is in red color over here. And if I just go here and change it to a different number, let's say 89. So you see this automatically goes away, the error goes away. And which means that this egg is capable of storing the value 89 into it. And we can see that practically as well. Let's say console.log and then again print a control s just transpile it and then run it. So you can see when it ran line number one and it came to line number three, the initial value was 10. And then what we asked in line number five was to change the value of a to 89. And then it changed the value of variable a to 89. And then when you ask it to reprint it in line number seven, it gave you a different value, which is 89 over here. In the same way, you can also perform different things. Let's say you want to change the value of this and increment it by one. So what we can do is we can add a plus one. And then again, console.log a. 
and here you go so initially the value was 10 and then we asked it to change the value to 89 and then we incremented it by 1 so adding a 1 to 89 becomes 90 and here you can see that it adds 1 to it and it gives you 90 as an answer in the same way we can also do it differently for different data types as well so let's say we want to store a string value this time so what I will do is I don't want to run this code so I will just comment it out so this is how you comment it and what we will do is this time we will take another variable so let's say we are taking a variable as b and this time I will be storing a value inside it which will be let's say john and then just print it and you can see that it now prints the value of b variable b which is actually john and now if you just try to store a value of number inside it let's say you want to store 5 inside of it you see it will give you an error because it already knows that you have b variable which contains a string data type and you can also see when you hover over onto it it tells you that b is a string value type and you can store number data type into a string data type so if you just want to change the value this time you can just change it you can just change it to any value you want let's say we want to change the value of b from john to sarah and then if you just go and print it console.log and then b and here you can see previously the value that was stored in variable b was john and then you just change it to sarah over here so this is how you deal with the string data types and the number data types now let's quickly do an example of boolean data type as well so again I will just remove the comment from here and I will just comment it till this point because I don't want to use these lines anymore by the way you can also find these codes in the description link below on our github repository alright so let me give you an example of a boolean data type so I will just come on to a new line and over here I will write down let C so let's save the boolean data type value inside our variable c this time and a boolean value can only be true or false so let's say we give it a value as true okay and when you hover over onto it it shows you that okay the data type is boolean now what if i try to assign a numeric value which can be a number data type or a string value to this letter c let's see what happens so if you just try to give it c is equals to 20 so you can see it gives you an error over here right and in the same way if I just try to change it to a number value let's say we want to name it as code so you see this is a string data type and once you hover over onto it it says you that the type string is not assignable to a type boolean which means if you try to run this kind of a code it will give you an error so just let's just try to compile it and see what happens so you can see over here that it tells you that we have an error in line number 21 and you cannot execute this code so this is how you deal with the variables in TypeScript and with this I hope you have got an understanding of how you can declare a variable what are the different data types and how you can use them in your TypeScript code in our future sessions we will be going deeper into the variables so don't forget to like and subscribe our channel and get notified on our future sessions on TypeScript